This is going to be a demonstration on creating the line work for construction details in AutoCAD. Uh, so here we have the detail template that we've opened up. We've got a few details we've already created. But we have a sketch of another detail that we want to add uh, to this drawing. Uh, we've got it sketched out right here. In this case, it's going to have a uh, concrete banding with some aggregate underneath, uh, some brick pavers on top of sand, aggregate underneath that as well. Uh, with turf on the side. So we're going to create this detail on AutoCAD and really just focus on the line work uh, for the details so that we can use the detail template uh, to put in the leaders and also the dimensions uh, for this. So we'll start with uh, just this top line right here. We're going to create uh, the 16 inch by 4 inch concrete uh, band right here. So we're going to zoom in. All of this is drawn at 1 to 1. Uh, so we're going to just draw it the actual size that we have it right there listed out. So we'll start with a line, which is L space. I'm going to turn on my ortho, which is F8, uh, just to get this uh, locked in this orientation. So we'll go 16 inches. So we'll type in 16 inch. We'll go down 4 inches. We'll go over again 16. And at this point we've got a few options. We can go up 4. We can actually just hit C space, which just close off, closes off the uh, line work that we've created. Now from here, we're going to begin to offset a few things. So I'm going to do O space and just type 4 inches to offset the aggregate down right there. We'll go ahead and draw in some lines with L space, snapping to the endpoints to, uh, to close this off as well. Now, I'm going to look back over here. We'll draw in the pavers as well. We've got them shown at 2 inch, so it must be a custom size paver. We'll come over here. We're just going to draw a line this direction. Uh, we'll say 8 inches just for a typical uh, paver width. We'll go down 2 inches over and then back 8 inches uh, to close that off. Uh, we also know that we're probably just going to show that it's continuing uh, this direction. So I'll draw a line over another 2 inches and we'll offset that 2 inches down. And we're just going to draw a line straight down with this line continuing up. This will be our break line. We'll probably replace it with something from the detail template later, uh, like this one right here. So we're just going to draw it in the line work here. We're going to use offset again for one inch to offset down our sand. We'll do EX to extend and sort of shoot it over to that edge. Now we'll offset another four inches. That'll be our aggregate underneath. Now these won't match up perfect, but we're still going to... Uh, do that. So I'm going to do that one more time, clicking four inches there. Now again, we're going to draw the turf on this side. We'll go this direction. We're going to grab this line right here. We're going to click right on that line and copy it over. Uh, so we have our breaks right there. And that's going to be the beginning of our line work. Now, a lot of times underneath, you're going to have your compacted subgrade hatch. And so what we're going to do uh, is probably just kind of draw in. Um, in this case, I'm going to do PL for polyline. EL. I'm going to click over and what you can do is you can actually kind of give it more of a jagged edge like this and um, go and stop right there. I'm also going to pull this down this direction because one thing we don't want is that compacted subgrade necessarily uh, underneath a lot of this uh, turf over here. In fact, we'll have probably a different hatch we call an amended soil hatch that we'll put in. So these lines right here are just going to be a guideline for my hatches. I'm going to hit H space to kind of click this hatch right here. I'm going to hit H space again to click a new hatch. You got to do it twice so that you can get two different hatches and control things uh, independently. I'm going to go ahead and do the same for these other areas. So just H space each time and clicking these as individual hatches. Now I'll do this one right here is, uh, together because I know I want those to be the same. And finally, I'll do this right here. So I'll put in the base hatches for this. This is where I'm actually going to come up here and copy the detail template up so that I can oops, see O to copy and put it here. Now I've got to go through the procedures of actually putting in the details. So I'm going to double click in this viewport, kind of size up about the about the scale I'm going to need for this. I assume it's going to be somewhere around uh, one and a half inch. Yeah, that's typically one for about this size detail. I'm going to not roll off of that. We'll say one and a half inch equals a foot. Double click off, come back to model space. Now, there's a separate tutorial for how to use the detail template, but 
it's kind of the crash course for it. I'm going to grab my one and one half inch equals a foot and the scale conversion for that is going to be eight. So I'll grab all of this stuff right here. Oops, not CO. We're going to do SC for scale, click and type eight. <clears throat> now it kind of scaled it into my other stuff here. I'm just going to undo that. Um, cause I feel like that's kind of annoying. So we'll move it up here, highlight it again, SC for scale, click and say eight. Now what this does, it's going to scale up all the hatches. So I've got all these placeholders down in here. And what I'm going to do is type MA for the compacted subgrade and paste it right there. Again, MA for match properties for the crushed rock. Click here and here for those two. MA for concrete. We'll click on this and put that hatch there. Say MA for, uh, where's brick? Common brick right here. Use that paste it right there continue obviously with this process we'll say uh, we we'll use the mortar that'll kind of roll for our sand right there mm, it's pretty light I'm actually gonna potentially change the scale of that you might fiddle around with it a little bit let's just say 0.33 we'll do half that you can see it's starting to show up a little better and finally, our amended soil. Now, I don't know if this is a standard hatch. We'll see if it is. There it is. So it's just the same as the compacted subgrades, just at a 45 degree. We might even go a step further. Um, draw these lines up. I'll say offsets. Um, pick an offset distance of uh, something really modest. We'll do 0.25 inches click on the line and instead of clicking again which uh, forces us to re-click if you type M space it stands for multiple and you can just kind of click this over and so we'll kind of create a, a general idea of what that turf is going to be all right so this is kind of the start of it there's a few more things in here I'll obviously need to put my uh, rebar in as well uh, oftentimes you show it in the middle but uh, the best practice is to put it at the bottom third of the concrete. So we're actually going to do that. We have it as uh, four inches here. So bottom third is 1.33. So we're going to offset this 1.33 inches. Click on this line and go up. We also want to pull it in a little bit from the edge because you don't want your rebar all the way to the edge of your concrete. So we're going to pull it in. In this case, uh, we'll just show it as one inch. So I'm gonna offset this line in one inch one inch and we'll just trim these two lines erase erase whoops and erase that line as well all right finally we'll look up here let's see if we've got a um, color that we want to use for our rebar um, let's choose uh, in this case we'll just go medium for it click right there you might also put a medium for that top line uh, that's the finish grade and uh, we also need to get in here to the properties of this line so we'll go to properties we're going to change the line type from here to a hidden line type or a dash line type uh, just so we can show it as having uh, that dash or typical for the rebar in there. There's a few other things you'd want to do. You might put in the circle uh, that shows the rebar that's going um, in the opposite direction. This is going side to side in our view. We've got rebar that's actually going straight in and out uh, this direction. And so we might do some circles, some solid hatches there. We also want to delete some of these lines that uh, we don't want in there. Uh, let's see this one as well and start to clean this up. So there's a little more to go from here. This is when you'd sort of transition over to the detail template uh, tutorial where uh, you go through and you start putting in the leaders and dimensions. Uh, that's going to break it down um, a lot better than, than I would in this case. So this is just sort of a demonstration on how to get started uh, creating your, your detail line work in AutoCAD uh, before you start dimensioning and labeling from there.